Enjoy is brought to you by Gondo Cosmetics and Societe Generale Ghana. Today, I'm at La Maison in Accra to witness the exhibition Aqua Bites, the art of exhibition. I'm looking forward to learning a lot more about art and modern art in particular. So join me as we take a journey through the Aqua Bites exhibition. La Maison in Accra hosted the much acclaimed Aqua Bites, an innovative pop-up art show. This year, the theme is inspired by digital connections, chain reactions, and ubiquitous sound bites and snappy chatter of social media. The works being presented are standalone units or digits that can be woven into a greater whole. Materials such as plastic, metals, wood, film, and paper have been used to create ingenious pieces of art. Hello, Kofi. Hello, Rania. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Rania Odaimat, an artist, jewelry designer, lecturer and curator, and also the creator behind Aquabytes Beyond Collective, spoke to me about the exhibition and her collection. Our idea of Aquabytes is a contemporary creative welcome to a visiting artist, because part of what we're doing is to encourage uh, creative exchanges. And I wanted to show that no matter how cheap and available it was, if you used imagination, you could transform it into something of value and something that becomes art and something that sends a human message. So basically, this is a wall tapestry, which is a symbol for human tapestry, but it's a wall tapestry you can wear. <laughs> Anna Anoff is famously known for his signature sculptures. He recycles old trashed items, including car parts, electrical appliances, wood, and so much more, to create beautiful sculptures. I met with Nada Mukazel, who is the owner of La Maison, to tell us why she decided to host the exhibition. Nada, we have been mesmerized by the artwork we've seen in your establishment today. So what made you decide it would be interesting to host this exhibition? Well, uh, that's the second time that I host uh, the Beyond uh, exhibition. The first one was in my space, La Maison in Osu. Mm, mm. And here we've chosen this space because the inspiration of all this work started from uh, a Lebanese artist called Jean-Marc Nahas, mm. but it's inspired by his style. Mm. And then we all came up with something, um, with a work mm. of ours, uh, either collaborating with him or each one on his own and presented it in that space because I thought that space mm. looks very much mm -hmm. uh, perfect yeah. for his work. Being such an art lover and someone who appreciates and supports art, how significant is it for you to be showcasing Ghanaian artists alongside this Lebanese artist Jean-Marc? For me, it is very, very important to promote African art. Mm. Jean-Marc is one episode. Yes. It's for this exhibition. But um, in my vision, um, African art, and especially Ghanaian art, is not well recognized on mm. the international platform. Mm -hmm. And the reason being, um, the Ghanaians themselves, uh, they don't buy their own art. Mm -hmm. So we need to create more awareness and create a beautiful platform mm. for those artists to show their work. So, as I stand here admiring Kojo Rasta's handiwork, I'm left with a, an important moral. As he said, as you're walking, you could be stepping on people who have come before us. But how about this? How about as you're walking, leave an important footprint. Leave something that people will remember for years to come. Leave important marks of your work. Well, we've been inspired here at Aqua Bites, the art exhibition at La Maison today. Um, I've got some notes of inspiration here. Now, I might not be able to come up with a fantastic piece of art like this, but my creative juices are already flowing as to what I could do to leave a mark. Hmm. This program has been sponsored by Gandor Cosmetics and Societe General Ghana. Enjoy.